What is going on guys? It's John from Cars and Cameras back with another C10 update. I wanted to have this thing done for summer 19. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I've been making good progress. I've been using LMC truck for years for other parts on this truck and when it was time to get replacement body panels, I hit him up and actually sent me a whole bunch of front end parts. Because the original body panels were so full of rust and body filler, replacements were really the best option for me and LMC had me covered. They sell all kinds of truck parts for Chevrolet, Ford, and Dodge classics all the way up to late models. You can check out their website at a link in the description of this video. Everything bolted up to the original cab right out of the box, but they did require some trimming to get the fit a little bit better like you'll see in the video. Anyway, enjoy. I just painted the firewall a single stage black, heavy duty urethane used on commercial trucks. Uh, so the cab can be moved back and bolted onto the chassis where it needs to go. Also, the front radiator support is bolted in too, so I can go ahead and bolt some fenders on. Lucky for me, LMC sent me two front fenders, two front inner fenders, the radiator support pieces, and a bunch of hardware to go with it. More bubble wrap. All right, let me find a place to put all this stuff and we'll take a look. So all these parts are as they appear right out of the box. I haven't done any massaging or body work to them at all. And they look really, really good. There don't seem to be any dings or nicks in these fenders. We have the radiator support braces over here. These are in good shape too. We have a little bit of scratching there, but I mean, it was gonna have to be sanded and painted anyway. It's not a big deal. And we have one small bend here, but with a pair of adjustable wrenches, it'll be bent right back. Not a big deal at all. Um, let's take a look at the inner fenders. Uh, I'm gonna need to, at the very least, scuff it. Ideally, ideally I would strip it and then paint it. Uh, but first, before we do any painting, any sanding, we need to test fit all of these parts to make sure they're gonna fit on the truck. Ike and I finally found some time to install them and we also had to order a few uh, rubber pieces uh, online to get them to fit properly. They're looking pretty good. We still have a few trims to make. I'm going to show you uh, the trims we've made so far to get things to fit perfectly. Uh, they, they didn't fit 100% perfectly right out of the box, um, but I don't think anyone expects them to. Even factory uh, panels may need some shimming or some trimming to get them to fit on different trucks. So you can see in this front fender that the bolt holes here are actually already slotted to allow some adjustability. Um, in this front one, we marked here with a marker that we're gonna need to trim it a little bit more to get it to fit perfectly. Um, gonna have to trim the fender here a little more. We already trimmed it once, uh, but it's gonna need a little bit more to fit against the inner fender. Uh, we had to trim the inner fender right along here to get to sit down low enough to get the front to come down so that the fender would work perfectly against the door. And we have a uh, little bit of a panel gap happening uh, right here at the between the fender and the door. The front part of the fender needs to come down a little bit in order to uh, get that gap a little tighter and it should be uh, pretty darn good. And on the passenger side fender, you can see we need to trim a little bit there and back here just like we did on the driver's side outer fender. And we need to do the same thing to get this panel gap a little tighter. Uh, the front of the fender has to drop down a little bit more to uh, just get it a little bit tighter on that bottom part there. So I'm gonna get to work doing a little bit of trimming with the uh, electric nibblers, a file, and uh, probably a grinder. So I filed that hole out a little bit larger. Uh, I did the best I could with hand tools, and of course, uh, Ike isn't here, don't have a cameraman or anything, so uh, it's hard to film everything. But anyway, I'm gonna reinstall the front fender, see how it looks, and then move on to the other fender. So, Ike and I have done a little more work on the truck since I've seen you last in this video. Um, again, just kind of little trims here and there. We, we install all the panels, we make marks with a permanent marker, what needs to be trimmed, we take them all off. Here, let me, let me show you, for example. These are all getting pretty darn close, but as you can see, that needs to be trimmed out. And, and we've already trimmed it once, but we're just gonna take it the rest of the way there because uh, this fender needs to push more up against the inner fender and it, it can't because that little lip is in the way. So it's 
It's just kind of little stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't advise you to do this if it's your first try or first time trying to restore a car or something. I'd get it sent to a body shop. Like I would be completely lost if it wasn't for Ike, um, who has you know 20 years mechanic experience. But hey, this is better than like having to try to save those old panels or even drive to like Nevada to a rust free area and uh, and find an old body there. I think between the two of us, we have about five hours in this install so far. I don't think that's too bad personally. Uh, I did spend a few hours in the woods the other day getting the other uh, mount for the radiator support off of one of Ike's parts trucks. The original one on my truck was bent, so I took it off and then I lost it, but now I have this one thanks to Ike. And so all this should be squared up now, but I mean, it's looking like a truck, guys. Just for your own reference, if you're doing something like this at home, my main trim areas were the areas behind the rear fenders that touch the firewall and then kind of the lips on the fenders themselves. That's it for this C10 update. Thank you for watching, guys. From here, I just have a ton of little things to do. I need to paint the insides of the doors. Uh, I need a steering column. I need wiring harness. I need brake lines. Uh, you will see all that in the next update. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed the video today. And of course, uh, shout out to LMC Truck again. Thank you for the front end parts. As always, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews and buy some of our merchandise from cars-cameras.com to help support us in what we do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.